I'm sure you've noticed how bulldogs look like the canine version of grannies. Their squishy and wrinkly faces make them look old, even while they're still very young. It's also funny how the same quality makes them adorable, right? But behind that cuteness is a whole lot of pain and discomfort caused by brachycephalic syndrome. I'm sure you're wondering what brachycephalic syndrome means. Well, you'll have to stick around to find out. At Dogs Wiz Today, we'll be unraveling the mystery behind this syndrome and how it has brought about devastating health effects on bulldogs. Sounds sad, right? But the good thing about today's video is that we'll also be sharing some tips on how to beat this syndrome so you can earn more time with your adorable pet. So make sure to stick around to the end to hear all about it. But first, let's start with how bulldogs came to have squishy faces. If you're not new here, you already know that many dog breeds were originally developed to fulfill specific purposes like hunting and herding. That's why you'll see that many of them have unique features that are best suited for these purposes. As for bulldogs, they were historically bred for fighting and bull baiting. Usually, you'd think that their flappy skin and wrinkly face would wouldn't be able to withstand high impacts from bulls. But surprisingly, these features served as protection during those fights. Bull baiting was later banned in North America and England in 1835. Of course, many people thought that this would put an end to the ordeals the bulldog had to face, but they were wrong. During the reign of Queen Victoria, who ruled from 1837 to 1901, breeding dogs into specific and odd-looking breeds were at an all-time high. This was the period when people were more concerned with obtaining dogs with extreme appearances and cartoonish features and less bothered about the health concerns involved. The ban on bull baiting, which was intended to be a good initiative, became an Achilles heel because people still wanted to keep them as pets. But to do so, they had to make these dogs less aggressive. And judging from how things were during this period, they obviously wanted to retain those squishy faces. Sadly, we can't always have it all. Something had to give at some point. And for bulldogs, it was their health. The rate of irresponsible breeding practices increased at this point, and many bulldogs fell victim to this. The result was a dog with serious genetic defects on their face and skull bones. These defects have resulted in bulldogs being the least healthy breed out there. Now let's talk about health problems resulting from their squished faces. As a brachycephalic breed, bulldogs naturally have some health defects. One of them is breeding problems. Bulldogs have narrow tracheas due to the structure of their face and head. That's why you mostly see them snoring and snorting, even when there in a well-ventilated environment. In extreme cases, these bulldogs are also prone to a condition called brachycephalic syndrome. This syndrome results in a mountain of abnormalities that extend beyond their faces and respiratory problems. It causes changes in their lungs and gastrointestinal tract. It's so bad that many of them are born with weak stomachs, which results in frequent gas reflux, regurgitation, and vomiting. Honestly, these dogs go through a lot, but it doesn't stop here. Many of these dogs also have ear infections because of their narrow ear canals. Some others also have displaced hips and dental problems because there is not enough room in their mouth for their teeth to grow. Even when it grows, the arrangement is usually warped and messy. And there's also the massive heat stress they face because the mechanisms for reducing and dispelling body heat in their body are weak. Another common problem bulldogs face is skin fold infections. The more mature they are, the more susceptible they are to infection because their skin folds can easily trap moisture and dirt. It's even worse because you can't totally stop dirt from getting there. Every time they eat, drink water, or roll around in the dirt, a substantial amount of everything gets trapped in their folds. But thankfully, there's a way out of all this, or at least a way to manage some of these health issues. You could consider taking your dog for corrective surgery if it has severe breathing difficulties. You can also try as much as possible to prevent infections altogether by thoroughly cleaning under their skin folds and monitoring their activities. Since they experience heat flashes, you might also want to monitor their heat exposure, minimize the stress they go through in their daily lives, and monitor their breathing during exercise. If you suspect that your dog has brachycephalic syndrome, consult a vet. Your vet will diagnose your pet and prescribe the right medication and corrective procedure. In all, bulldogs may be brachycephalic, but that does not stop you from enjoying their company. As long as you keep a good eye on them, you can navigate these difficulties with ease. So what do you think about bulldogs? Is it a breed you'd love to get as a pet? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.